Well, with me is Bob Bauer. He's chief global economist at Principal Global Investors. Bob, thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Now, Francis. we've had some really astonishing figures in terms of growth coming in from Germany, France, even Spain uh -huh. beat the forecast. That's good news, but it of is. course it's making the job for the ECB that much more difficult. Well, it is. There is kind of a two-tier uh, recovery going on in uh, the European Union, but then that happens in many countries. I mean, you could almost say, so what? The uh, uh, monetary policy in the U.S. is the same for North Dakota and Texas, well, as well as California, who are also uh, growing at different you speeds. You could Bob, say, so what? But if you look at yields, for example, in two-year Greek, 25.6%, I mean, there's trouble for these peripheral countries. Absolutely is. Uh, you can also say in some respects it shows what is the really fundamental problem though going on in the European Union and that is the uncompetitiveness and inflexibility of some of the peripheral economies. You know Germany went through a very difficult time in the 90s uh, early part of the 2000s restructuring its economy having a much more flexible uh, labor market and now it's bearing the benefits and the fruits of that yeah. and maybe some of those things have to happen in the periphery. Uh, Bob, if you just hold it on right there, because we've just had some breaking news from one of the ECB board members. This is Mr. Nowotny saying that a Greek euro exit would be unimaginable. He says that Greece has not sufficiently, though, met a rescue package. Uh, so this is from the ECB's Mr. Nowotny. In terms of what you see there, there is speculation, there's a lot of concern about some possible country getting out of the eurozone, yes, that's either true. because actually interest rates are too high or just because they're too low. It, it's not necessarily Greece that will leave. This seems completely irrational, doesn't it? Well, it would really be hard for Greece to leave. They would uh, all of their their deficit would have to be funded anyway. And if they if they were not part of the euro area, they would have to have an enormous cut in their deficit, about eight percent of GDP, just to have enough to uh, uh, enough money to to pay the bills. Also, uh, there'd be a huge capital flight out of their banks. Their banks would probably close. So it'd be very difficult for Greece to exit the European Union. Bob, how do you see this as an American? It, it seems that it, is, is it squabbling just here in Europe? We seem to go over the same things and every two weeks, you know, we say a restructuring, not restructuring. Does someone need to exit? Does Europe just need to get its house in order? Well, in some respects, that's uh, true. The house does need to be uh, gotten in order. Maybe the way to do it is to start with banks, recapitalize some of the banks, because that's the real problem. I mean, it started with uh, profligacy in certain countries, uh, excess spending, but then it's the banks that bought to that debt and if the debt's not any good the banks are in trouble but then each of those countries has to work on their labor markets and uh, open up their economies and become more competitive and what do you see the future bringing are we going to go through a really tough time in Europe despite these this growth incredible growth from Germany and some of the stronger countries is it going to be painful to get out of this will we need a restructuring I think in some of those countries there's no question that there will be some restructuring probably of the debt but I think it's really important to restructure the economies too but right now uh, the growth in Europe overall with France and Germany coming in much above expectations of this morning for the first quarter there'll probably be a dip in the second quarter as a result of uh, supply chain issues uh, from the J Japanese earthquake but I think the prognosis for the European Union as a whole is pretty good for the rest of the year.